Before I get into today's video, remember to follow me on Twitter. So my Twitter, the link is in the description below. You can also find me. My handle is at Jackson Kruger. Come over, say hi. And anyways, back to your regularly scheduled video. So the Los Angeles Chargers made some real efforts to improve their offensive line last year. They they needed to. Um, it was not great last year. Justin Herbert was amazing under pressure, uh, but you think that that probably will not uh, last. So you got to make sure he's not consistently under pressure. I mean, his passer rating was like over 100 under pressure. That was just stupid. But uh, again, uh, typically that will not, that is something that tends to fluctuate a little bit. Uh, so <laughs> no pressure tends to be better. And Rashawn Slater has not given up much pressure in admittedly a very small sample size of tape that we have of him. But you know, it's NFL tape of a interesting prospect. I wanted to talk about him. Uh, and so yeah, let's get into the film study and talk about what I think Rashawn Slater will bring to the Chargers and what we've seen a little bit of in the preseason. But you know, Typically, I use preseason tape as sort of an extension of what I've already seen in, you know, uh, their co college tape. I've watched a lot of college tape of all of these hyped up prospects. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it. So we'll start off with this play. It's a one on one matchup. He is the left tackle. And one of the things I've really been impressed with is Slater's arms, you know, uh, his hands. I feel like one of the things that you know, got a couple people to sort of question, uh, isn't the fact that he has, like, bad arm length or anything, but, like, you know, someone like Derisaw has these monster arms uh, very long, and the question is, uh, will Slater be able to have that uh, arm length that, you know, have that success with his hands as someone like Derisaw could in the NFL, where arm length seems to be a very important trait in a player. But look, right when this play starts, so you're going to notice that he does get that left hand onto that shoulder pad, or really the pec area, just immediately. Uh, and that's what he's really did a great job of in the limited time we saw him, was having that outside arm have a lot of success. You know, his left hand as a left tackle in the pass blocking game is going to just be so vital. And he seemingly has done a tremendous job at being able to do that stuff. And look, at this point, you're just not going to win that matchup as a defensive edge rusher. You know, it was really a, a good job by Rashawn Slater, I would say. Like, look, this one's another one. This is going to be in the running game, but it's the same idea. Uh, this time, it's going to be his right hand, though, because again, in the running game, uh, hands can sometimes get switched. It's not always your left hand that comes into play, and he is someone who could play left tackle, could play right tackle. You can just see by the way he uses his hands. But anyways, so it's going to be a running play. It is still a one-on-one -on -one matchup, though, for Slater. This time, it's going to be his right hand, and again, he's going to try to get onto that, uh, you know, right peck area, right shoulder pad area, something like that, probably peck area, given the run blocking game. That's what you would want. And watch how well he's going to be able to do this. I mean, look, just immediately gets the, you know, gets the perfect hand placement he wants. So, uh, again, it's not exactly like he's going up against Khalil Mack right here. But still, it's a really good job of being able to get the hand placement that you want. Because then watch how we can just drive him back and, you know, allow them to pick up the first down, which is what they were trying to do on that play. So, you get that hand placement, he's going to be fine. Uh, and his hand placement incredible. He's done a great job of it so far, uh, you know, in the limited time. Again, we haven't seen a ton of him, but what we've seen, he's done a really good job with that hand placement. You then have something like this, which is another interesting thing. So if you aren't a big college football fan, kind of the thing we know about Slater is he is a tremendous athlete. So he's someone who can move very well. And, you know, the analytics say that Typically, you want to go after guys who are stronger and have bigger arms as opposed to guys who are better athletes. Not to say that being an athlete doesn't help you uh, in the NFL. Of course it does, but you have to make sure you have the complete package, which most people felt like Slater did. No one was really low on Slater, but that was kind of the if you have a knock, that's his knock. His best trait is something that you would prefer your best trait in a highly picked offensive lineman to be a different trait. And actually, a play like this is exactly what is the reason for that? Because it's going to be kind of a speed rush right here. And watch the situation that Slater is going to get in here. I mean, look, so you see the speed rush. And Slater, at this point, he can't get the exact hand placement he wants because the defensive edge rusher ran so far off to the side. There's no way Slater is going to get his left hand and get it all the way over to the shoulder area. That's not even what you try to do at this point. Really, what you want to do is just get your boat get both hands on him, you know, maybe your left hand on the left shoulder area or excuse me, left pec area as opposed to the right uh, side of his body. And then you get your right hand, put it sort of on his side and you want to just push him behind your quarterback, which is something that you can do. Um, 
yes, every now and then you'll see a quarterback take too far of a drop and it results in a sack. We saw Panay Sewell sack that way. So it's not the most ideal situation, but it's pretty good. And it's pretty much the only way you can counteract something like this. And as you see, he's just going to shove him away really well. So Basically, everyone's going to get in those positions in the NFL, but Slater is strong enough that he can still get out of those positions. So again, he's a complete package uh, left tackle, which is why the you know why the Chargers spent a, a quality pick on him. And something like this is another uh, interesting thing, I think, where you know I talked about how both his hands are so good; it's not just his left hand. Well, this is going to be a good example of that, where the uh, defensive edge rusher, forty-eight for Los Angeles is going to try to get to the inside here. Look, so right when this play starts, so Slater, you know, gets his hands on. Now, uh, edge rusher saying, hey, I can't get past that left hand, so I'm going to try to go to the other side. However, Slater, again, look at his right hand. He has it right in that area. It, it's amazing. It's almost like magnets. It, is, it just gets there, right? He's like that guy in uh, Spider-Man, the Doc Octopus or whatever. Uh, what is it? Doctor Oct- Yeah, Doc Ock, right? Uh, that's who Slater is like. Because look, at this point, you're just you're not going to win that matchup if he gets the hand placement. He's too strong to do that, and his hands are too good that he's putting himself in good position. So, you know, just preseason, all of that stuff. But so far, tape looking very good for Rashawn Slater. So yeah, that's kind of my thought on Slater. Like, listen, there's a lot to like about him. And honestly, there's not really much to dislike. I think the couple of concerns we've had, well, the preseason tends to look like those aren't concerns. Maybe it's just preseason. Maybe when he goes up against guys who aren't fringe NFL players, but instead are like superstars, uh, some weaknesses could get exposed. That'll probably happen. I mean, that happens with every rookie tackle. I would expect him to sort of be in that vein as well. I think that's fair to assume, but I think it's also fair to say, wow, this guy looks really good. And for the Chargers, you know, they could use it. I mean, listen, I have kind of beat the drum a little bit of, uh, I think that offensive line is a bit overrated. I think that having good receivers just help you way much, way more than having a good offensive line. But you also don't want your quarterback to get killed, especially when it's a young star quarterback in Herbert. So protecting him just physically can actually be a real thing. Forget the, the X's and O's, just making sure he's healthy. Well, that helps you a lot. And a left tackle can help that kind of thing because when a quarterback is blindsided, those tend to be the dangerous hits. So... Uh, yeah, I mean, if you're a Rashawn Slater fan, you're feeling pretty good right now. And if you're a Chargers fan, you're feeling pretty good right now. So that's my thought on Rashawn Slater and what he's done so far with the Chargers. Let me know, what do you guys think in the comments below? Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.